Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use obfuscated servers with NordVPN. Now, why would you want to use obfuscated servers, right? Uh, the main reason and primary reason is if you want to hide the fact that you're actually using a VPN. Now, a VPN, as you probably know, is an encrypted virtual private network uh, and it hides all your data and keeps everything secure. But the one factor that does give you away a little bit is that it's kind of obviously using a VPN. So although nobody can see your data, they can't control your data, they can't pinch your data, an ISP knows that you're using a VPN because it's encrypted. The data looks different. You can't see any clear text or anything like that. <clears throat> so an ISP can block the use of VPN. Why do they want to block them? Not all do, but some VPN service, uh, some ISPs do block VPNs. They don't like you um, using um, region control, so using a VPN to watch region locked services. They don't like being able to you to hide where you're going because lots of ISPs throttle services from different websites, streaming. They don't like if you're doing peer to peer sharing stuff like that. They like to control you. And they can't do that with a VPN. So when you're using a VPN, although you're not being controlled, unfortunately, if you've got the wrong ISP, you can be blocked. An obfuscated server stops that. What does it do? Well, an obfuscated server actually um, hides the fact that you're using a VPN. It makes the traffic look like normal traffic. So it is actually encrypted. It's all protected. Uh, but it won't look like that to the ISP. And so if you find that your ISP is blocking VPN traffic, um, blocking your VPN, try obfuscated servers. Okay, now I will show you how to enable this. Now, it can be a little bit confusing, but let's go into NordVPN. Um, of course, other VPN services, some VPN services have got obfuscated servers. Uh, not that many, just kind of the big guys really because it takes a bit of technical know-how a bit more configuration and, and a, a a more extensive back end to support that now if we go into nordvpn here you can see the here's all my nordvpn programs this is on a, a desktop laptops tablets smartphone will look similar and normally you can just click on a service there that you if you want to use a service or if i want to connect to my mongolian vpn server i just click there uh, and then I'll get a, v a VPN created to there and a Mongolian IP address. Now, um, no, but if I want an obfuscated server, I have to select that. Now, if you go here, there's a section called Speciality Servers. And here, there's some of the dead, um, the ones NordVPN has. There's Dedicated IP, Double VPN, Onion Over VPN, and P2P. Uh, I won't go over these in this video. I'll just keep this short. This is obfuscated servers, after all. So, but you can see it's missing. Where is obfuscated servers? Well, you need to change the protocol and a couple of settings. Now you need to find this. It's on the desktop. It's in the bottom left hand corner, this little cog here, which brings up the settings. And um, what you need to do first is go into auto connect and you need to make sure that your um, protocol is set to open VPN TCP. Now, it'll default to Nordlinks, which is great if you're not having any problems and you don't want to hide the fact you're using a VPN, leave it on Nordlinks. If you want your obfuscated servers, Nordlinks doesn't support that, so you'll need to change that and change it to OpenVPN TCP. That's not where it ends. There's one other section you need to go. I think it's in here. You need to go into Advanced. If you've changed the protocol, you'll then have this option here which is called obfuscated servers, and you need to turn them on. Okay, and then that's all you need to do, I think. Yep, and you just need to close that. Uh, then restart your VPN service and go back to the VPN section. So here's, I've just gone back into VPNs now, and you can see the big map as it was before, but we've also got obfuscated servers. Now, if you click on obfuscated servers by default, it will give you um, the fastest server, okay? But that's how it's configured. Now, obfuscated servers are a little bit slower than normal servers because they, they're kind of disguising your data. So there's an overhead to that. They're not too bad, though. 
Uh, but if you're actually using an obfuscated server to you to bypass a region block, obviously you need a specific country. So if you're watching the BBC, for instance, you need a UK obfuscated server. Sorry, bit of a mouthful. To do this, you need to just click the little buttons on the, the right there and it, you are able to configure so you get a specific country. So if I wanted BBC, for instance, using an obfuscated server, I would click on United Kingdom. And if I wanted to select a server there, or I could just pick the fastest. Um, most of the obfuscated servers work really well with region blocking, so you don't usually have to click on one particularly, just leave it on the fastest. But if you have problems, switch to a different server if the IP address is being blocked, for instance. So just click on OK there, and you can see this is connecting to United Kingdom 2188, just like it would normally. Uh, as I say, it tends to take a little bit of a time to connect. Let me just... Uh, there. Uh, but after the initial connection, you don't see much overhead. So it's now connected to United Kingdom, but this is a hidden, this is a secret obfuscated VPN. So they can't detect that you're using a VPN server. So if you have any problems accessing the NordVPN site or your uh, traffic is being blocked while using a VPN, this is worth trying. Okay, so I'm connected now just as I was before. And now I can go, let me just quickly go to um, BBC iPlayer, for instance. Hopefully there. So remember, all this is now using uh, an obfuscated server. And we can watch now of Doctor Who. It It is slightly slower, I have to say. that I mean, when you click on um, the connections of a normal uh, UK, the NordVPN servers, they're um, instantaneous. But it's not much slower. But, hey, it'll vary time to time and depends how many people are using the server. Remember, there's only a sort of dozen or so UK obfuscated servers as opposed to a, a hundred or so um, normal Once UK upon servers. A time, but it streams perfectly well. There's me Christmas. watching Doctor Who Christmas special. I'll just close it there. If you do have buffering problems, again, just let it... Um, let it buffer up basically so just pause it for a minute and it'll work fine but again you have to accept there's a slight overhead to the using the obfuscated servers okay right i hope that hasn't been too waffly and i hope i've shown you how to use an obfuscated server on nordvpn okay thanks for watching and bye for now